Do you agree that one of the most determining factors for any film's success is the visuals? Yes. Who anyway wants to watch poor visuals? Definitely not me. Modern televised anime is recognized by a uniform style generally. If you pick a random person on the street, ask them to name the tropes in anime. Their list will probably be made of cutesy feminine characters, saturated colors, fantastical beasts, big eyes, skimpy outfits, and a lighthearted atmosphere. Leave alone the association with the subject, many will recognize at least one visual style available in anime. Visuals in anime are aspects that can have you more invested in the story. Each anime has its style, and it might differ from the other. Hello and welcome to today's video. All we shall be talking about today is anime with stunning visuals that are satisfying to a viewer. Remember to hit that subscribe button and also that bell. Leave a comment in the comment sections if you concur with the video or not. Mononoke This is a Japanese anime televised series produced by Toy Animation, a spin-off of 2006's horror anthology series Ayakashi with every frame of the series oozing with texture and style. Mononoke follows the character of the medicine seller as he continues to face a myriad of supernatural perils and exorcists, demons, plaguing his land. Mononoke is one of the most original shows created to date. It plays with visuals from storybooks to mysterious characters and a story full of weird things in Japanese mythology which at some point might be difficult to follow. The anime series can be said to be a visual treat with an unmatched colorful flow that perfectly goes against its horrific imagery. Genius Party Genius Party represents seven short animated films that made by several talented anime directors of Japan. The creators had 15 to 20 minutes to fully express themselves in the episodes and have an impact on viewers. Each short in the anthology has a distinctive animation style and a unique style from the directors, including Masaki Yusa. From the series, there are five beautiful and unique fantasy worlds in the series, with five different tales unfolding. A young boy is disturbed about his mother's pregnancy, a mismatched group hunts a legendary treasure on a giant's isle. With a giant meteor that falls in a small village, the villagers must decide their fate. A Lull in the Sea A Lull in the Sea is a 2013 Japanese anime television series animated by PA Works. The anime is worth experiencing because of the stunning visuals. As good as the visuals are, an interesting story backs them up. The series reveals that humans used to live in the sea. However, after some of the humans defied the sea god, they went ahead to live on land. This then creates the diversion between Shion Shishio, the village in the sea, and Oshioshi, the village on the land. Four middle school students from the sea village have to attend school on the surface. While they are getting used to their new lives, they make a friend who resides on land and realizes that, despite the separation of people who live on land and those who live on the sea, they learn that true bonds of love and friendship can. Death Parade Whenever someone dies, they are sent to randomly one of the many mysterious bars run by bartenders serving as judges in a tower in the afterlife. There are dead compete in um, death games with their souls on the line. The results reveal what secret led them to their situation and their fate. The Arbiter are them with the power of judging, I, the dead one's soul, will be sent for reincarnation or banished into the void. The series follows Dissim, the lone bartender of the bar where the dead are sent to, called the Quinidissim Bar. Bar is an enigmatic figure. This is a rather an extraordinary show with an emphasis on game style format. Ancient Magu's Bride This one is interesting besides having great visuals. Shais Hattori, a 15-year-old Japanese girl, was sold off for 5 million pounds to a tall masked man. After being abandoned at an early age and mocked for her behavior, she was willing to give herself to anyone who would buy her if that is what having a place to call home meant. As she was going home, she heard whispers from men with robes along the road. They discussed that such a buyer got his hands on a rare sleigh baggie. She gives the murmurs a deaf ear and the mysterious man leads the girl into a study. After a while, the girl opens her eyes to Elias's picturesque cottage in rural England. Terror in Resonance V.O.N. or Vaughn, painted in red, is all that is left behind after a terrorist attack on a nuclear facility in Japan. The government was disturbed by their inability to act. The police are left searching for ways to crack down on the masterminds behind the attack. This left even the public clueless, but a strange video made its way onto the internet six months later. In the video, Sphinx, the two boys named Sphinx, boldly threatened to destroy Tokyo City unless a cryptic riddle could be solved. 
The two are survivors of an experiment by the Rising Peace Academy to develop orphans with savant syndrome into human weapons. Kino's Journey In Kino's Journey, the main character, Kino travels by a talking bike named Hermes to the mysterious world of different countries and forests, each with its customs and people. She always spends only three days and two nights in each city. As a rule, three days is enough to learn almost everything she needs to know about a place while leaving time to explore new lands. Kino states that this principle is probably a lie. She worries that a long stay may calm her down. The repetitive themes of anime and novels are indicated by the phrases explained, that's right because the world isn't beautiful. Anime director Ryotaro Nakamura described Kino's journey as a radical sense of beauty. Exploring what was described as cruelly loneliness, nonsense, oppression, tragedy is often juxtaposed with a compassionate and fairy tale atmosphere. Darwin's Game this anime combines great graphics with a very good violent story that is visually appealing but not always fun. The story follows a high school student whose classmates invited Kaname Sudo to play Darwin's Game, a mobile game he had never heard of. But as soon as he opens the application, a green snake suddenly appears on the phone screen, biting his neck and becoming unconscious. He woke up in the clinic with no signs of being bitten by a snake and he was told to take a break from school. A Silent Voice this is one anime that I feel is very related to the character and its emotions, so if you are looking for an anime with good graphics and great stories, this one is for you. The story follows the intention of Japanese high school student Shoya Ishida to commit suicide when he changed his mind at the last minute and decided to end the loose end. In the sixth grade, a freshman named Nishimiya Glass joined Shoya's class, and it became pretty clear that he was deaf. When the news of bullying reaches the principal, when, you know, the kid is bullied, Shoya is selected as the criminal by the teacher, and the class bullying goes against him. Shoya blames Shoko, and the two get into a physical altercation. Shoko is subsequently transferred to another school, and Shoya later finds a notebook Shoko left behind and keeps it. Tokyo Revengers The second year of Hanagaki Budo was the highest peak of his life. He had respect, a gang of friends he could count on, and even a girlfriend. But 12 years down the line, he is no one today. He was regarded as a washed up non entity made fun of by the children, and he always has to apologize to his young boss. The sudden news coverage of the horrific murder of the only girlfriend he ever had alongside her brother only insults the injury. Seconds before the train finally ended its miserable life, martial arts remembers 12 years ago the day when he was still dating Hinata Tachibana. Tokyo Revengers marks the end of today's video. I sure hope that you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment about what else you would like to go over with us. Remember to hit the subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell. Till then, bye bye.